Imagine you are a block of dirt in Minecraft, just sitting there minding your own business, when all of a sudden a couple players from a nearby village come over and dig up all of your dirt friends. You would want revenge, right? But you're just a piece of dirt. What are you going to do about it? Well, for the next 100 days, I'm going to become a dirt in Minecraft and get revenge on three farmers who killed my dirt friends. On day one, I spawned in as a dirt block. And uh, as you can see, I am really goofy looking. I even have googly eyes, but that's not what we're here to talk about. We're here to get revenge on the three villagers that decided to destroy my dirt friends. Well, that and trying to survive ourselves, because uh, if they kill me, I lose this challenge. Now, I get tons of upgrades throughout this video, and eventually these abilities are going to ban these villagers from the server, but uh, right now we're still too weak. So to make sure I don't die here right off the bat in the intro, we're going to go ahead and unlock our first item, which is a slingshot, where I can shoot clumps of dirt at the villagers. Now, the second I this platform they're gonna try and kill me so uh we're gonna run to that pillager tower back there and hopefully finish up this quest pretty fast i think our best bet's gonna be to just go for it so let's just totally ignore these villagers and let's just go 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 get him Ooh. after him. get that dirt then we gotta make our way over to that pillager tower and we just need to punch 10 pillagers and that will be two quests completed oh there's a lot of pillagers be very careful actually we can get some punches in we're gonna dig you Okay, he hit me once. That's four punches. Let's go this way. Okay, we gotta get inside. Okay, here's the entrance. Start climbing. Start climbing. Oh. Okay. Oh, he shot me. We're low on HP. Okay, go quick. We looted the chest. We got a crossbow. That's huge. We got a goat horn, too. Get some blocks. Let's block up the staircase. Blow the goat horn. Okay, and now we got our crossbow with some arrows. Oh, gosh. Let's grab this log while they're fighting down there. Oh, nice. One of them died to the pillager. Okay, let's make some more planks and let's make ourselves a crafting table and quickly make ourselves a wooden sword. There we go. Now we have what we need to kill a player. Let's just eat some of these carrots. Make ourselves some bread. Okay, and I think we're almost good to go. It seems like they're waiting outside. They're struggling a lot right now. Oh, God. Ow. Let's go. Let's dig down here. Let's just start getting some wax on these pillagers. Ow. Oh, there's one right here. There's a player right here. Oh, gosh. I don't have a weapon. Ready? Oh, get him, get him, get him. We can get him here. This is huge. Oh, gosh. I'm getting killed by a dirt block. Oh, we yeah. have. He's done. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. We got to kill a player. Now we just need to hit the pillagers. Oh, there's another player right there. There's an iron golem here now. Wait, what? Oh, God. Uh, come here, you stupid bird. Nice. Now I just punch this guy. Oh, I got to punch him with my empty fist. I see. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, run. He's got us low. Okay, we finished the quest. Now let's just go over here real quick. Let's kill this cow. Let's unlock our new combat ability, the slingshot. I'm guessing we don't have a lot of time till they catch up to us. So I'm going to quickly grab a bunch of dirt in case they do. Oh, dirt block. Where are you? Oh, is he back? Hold on. Someone's back. I heard a voice. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, someone's there he back, is. Someone's back. Someone's back. Let's put the... Actually, I got an idea. Crossbow in the offhand. We can do this. Oh, no. He has a weapon. <gasps> Nice, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead. Go, 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 go. You know what? I'm just out of here. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. This is my chance to get away. Let's go into the forest and let's lose him in the jungle. Let's go. We're out of here. After unlocking our slingshot, we begin on our first dirt base, which wasn't the most impressive base I've ever built, but it was fairly hidden, and I really don't think the farmers are going to be able to find it. Okay, so welcome your faces to the first dirt base. Now, this base is definitely temporary. I'm not going to be able to live here forever, and you'll see why in a sec. But I decided to build this base underneath this nether portal that's completely surrounded by a bunch of cherry wood and oak wood. And actually, get into the base, you literally just go underneath the nether portal over here and you follow this little pathway to enter the base now the base overall is pretty simple with just a bed a bunch of survival stuff infinite lava infinite water and of course a little cave system but with the base finally done we can keep working on upgrades now obviously we have our slingshot that we can pull back extremely far and uh put mud in people's faces but it's really not that strong and to be honest we're really not that strong so let's keep working on our upgrades to get even stronger starting with our next one which is called dirt snack basically i gain the ability to eat dirt blocks and when i eat a piece of dirt you'll see i gain 120 seconds of water breathing hey and regeneration one and it works better than steak so we really don't need food after this upgrade which is probably good seeing as we only have 13 pieces of bread left so let's get to work on this upgrade all we've got to do is get a name tag a rabbit's foot and a carrot on a stick now a carrot on a stick is actually super easy because we just need a fishing rod and a carrot to make it so let's just go find an unlooted village real quick and take a carrot it really shouldn't be that difficult okay so let's just go into this village here and see if we can get ourselves a carrot i don't think this one's been looted yet and this obviously the villager hunters looted it but uh it doesn't appear so there's a farm literally right here so let's just break all this until we get a carrot Cool, we have 14 carrots, and now we just need to make ourselves a fishing rod, which is also really easy. It's literally just sticks and string, and I can get the sticks just from taking wood from this house. Give me that, and we got the sticks. And now we just need some string. So let's make our way down to our cave system, and let's go kill some spiders for some string real quick, as it should be pretty easy. Okay, there we go. We have four string, which means now we can craft ourselves the carrot on a stick by simply making ourselves a fishing rod and then attaching a carrot to it. And boom, carrot on a stick, which means we have the first quest done and now we just need a name tag and a rabbit's foot. So let's go out into the world and let's go look for a desert where we can kill some rabbits for their feet. Okay, we made it to a desert. Now let's just kill a bunch of rabbits. 
Wait, did I just get a rabbit's foot? No way! The first rabbit I killed dropped a rabbit's foot. That's like only a 10% chance, which is the second item we needed. And now we just need a name tag, which if you've been watching lately, I've struggled a lot with saddles and name tags. So I'm not really excited to go look for this, but it is what it is. Let's start heading home and looking for a name tag. Last call for Christmas! For a limited time, every purchase of Rye Guy merchandise enters you in to win a shout out in one of my videos. Each week we will pick a winner. So the sooner you pick up your very own Rye Guy 100 Days merch, the more chances you have to win. Simply go to ryguy.shop or scan the QR code on screen. Go, go, go! Okay, we found a mob spawner. Okay, we got two chests. Oh my, we have four diamonds in there. Okay, let's just break this. Boom, name tag. First try, we also got diamond horse armor, a bunch of gunpowder, and now let's collect these diamonds. And now we have everything we need to unlock dirt snack. So let's unlock it. And now apparently we can eat dirt. Now I have a bunch of dirt on me because I use it in my slingshot. So let's just see if we can eat it. No way, look at that. I know of regeneration, water breathing, and haste. That's crazy. Oh, there was actually a abandoned mine shaft down here I could have looted. Oh, hey, and more diamonds. This is great. Anyway, let's head back to the base for now and let's pick a new quest to work on because actually we finished all of our tier one upgrades you know because we start as a dirt block on to tier two now for tier two it's obvious what i'm gonna work on and that's to evolve our dirt and actually grow some arms and legs and of course it gives us a few extra hearts now to unlock it we just need eight glazed terracotta a smithing template and a clock now i don't think i've ever crafted a clock in minecraft because i find this to be one of the most useless items in the game i mean if i want to know the time i'll just look up at the sky but anyway let's go and let's start it by grabbing eight glazed terracotta since we actually just found ourselves an area to get terracotta meaning we're going back to that desert -y area and heading to the mesa bio Okay, now it says I can grab eight of any glazed terracotta, which just means I need to smelt this stuff. So let's just go and let's grab this. Is this orange? Oh, that's just terracotta. So we can't use that. It has to be a color. Yeah, this is white. So let's grab a bunch of this white terracotta. And now we just take this stuff home and throw it in a smelter. And now we just add it to our furnaces, give each of them one coal. And now we wait for all this glazed terracotta to finish melting. And just like that, we'll have the first quest completely done. And then we just gotta work out a smithing template and a clock, but we'll go into that in a sec. For now, let's just grab eight glazed terracotta from our furnaces, which should be done. And just like that, our first quest is done. Now let's go get a smithing template. And the easiest way to do that is to head to the nether. And since I don't have a single nether portal anywhere in this base, and for the fact that I just got three diamonds, let's go and let's make ourselves a diamond pickaxe. And let's make our way down to the mines to find some lava where we can make and get some obsidian. Okay, I found this area with two lava pools, so this should do fine. We'll just put the water here. So we'll just start with grabbing these. Okay, that's 10 obsidian. Now let's go make ourselves another portal, which uh, I guess we'll just put in this wall right here because it's the easiest wall to put it in. There we go. Now we just need to light this thing. Let's just grab an iron ingot from the chest, and now we combine that flint with that iron ingot to make a flint and steel, which we'll use to light up the nether, and now let's head on in. Okay, we're in the nether. Now we just have to find a bastion because that's the best place to find a smithing template. So let's go look for a bastion. There could be one anywhere. Oh, we're in trouble. Oh, we're in trouble. Oh, God. Oh, let's go. We found a bastion. It's right down here. Oh, okay. Let's get down there. There's a chest there. Hopefully, there's an armor template inside. Worm our way down. Try not to die here. Okay, here we go. Be quick. Be quick. Okay. There we go. Jump here. We should be able to open the chest. We can. We got a golden apple. Nice. We're surrounded. We're surrounded. We're in a bad spot. We're in a bad spot. We're in a bad spot. Oh! Go. Run, run, run. We're in a very bad spot. Get in the wall. Oh my god, we just almost died. What just hit me? Oh, I missed. Ah, get hit. Oh god, eat a dirt, eat a dirt. Let's get rid of these brutes. Okay, we haven't found an armor template yet. <gasps> oh, hunters, hunters, hunters. Oh, I see him. He's he's hiding. Hold on, the hunter's here. Oh god, he hit me. Eat a golden apple. Get back in here, get back in here. Let's dig out so he thinks we're still trapped in there. Now we're over here. Look at them all. They're all trapped in that corner. Oh! oh pull through on me. Oh, he's dumb. He's done. He's done. He's done. He's got the piglins on him. He's behind me, dude! Down here, in the hole, in the hole, in the hole. Nice. Okay, there's still probably two more hunters up there somewhere. Oh my god, there's so many piglins. I'm being shot at. I'm being shot at. He's building up. Go this way. Ooh, we're taking damage. Quick, in the hole, back in the hole. In, in, in. Why can't I go in? I don't fit! Okay, we go ready. And break that. And we're in. There's still a hunter out there somewhere. I only see one. I don't see the other one. Oh, he's coming over. Make him fall, make him fall, ready? He fell, he fell, he fell. Oh my gosh, dude. Yo, we're in trouble. Uh, yo, dirt block temporary truce. Oh gosh! Oh, let's go! We got him to fall. Now they should kill him. They should kill him. Get him, get him, get him. No, 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 no. Yes! Yes, they all died. I knocked him down into the piglins. Okay, let's get rid of all these piglins real quick. Okay, so I'm pretty sure there was only two hunters because I cannot find another one. I'm just gonna quickly start looking around this place for more loot. Okay, let's check this double chest here. <gasps> Ancient debris. And we have a smithing template right there. Oh my god, we got the smithing template. The only downside is that it's a smithing template netherite upgrade. Meaning I kind of want to save that one. I really don't want to use that if I don't have to. There should be a double chest somewhere around here. Oh, oh. If they get up here, I'm dead. I'm making this so they just cannot get up. There's no way. Okay, there we go. The should, should be good. Check this double chest. Bunch of arrows. I don't see a single upgrade, though. Okay, let's check this one. Nothing in this chest. Another ancient debris, though. Come on, give me a smithing template. 
Yes, there it is. Another ancient debris, a netherite scrap, and a snout smithing template. Oh, this is huge. Check this last chest. Okay, nothing in that chest, just a gold block and some extra obsidian. But boom, just like that, we have the smithing template. So let's get out of here yeah, before those villagers come back. Okay, I wasn't really expecting to get in a fight over it, but we got the smithing template, which means all we need now is the clock. And to craft the clock is pretty easy. We just need four gold and one redstone. Wait, I have gold. Do I have redstone? I do have redstone. So wait, I can just put the gold in there, grab the gold. And now I have a clock, I think. Is it that easy? Oh, it is that easy. Okay, well, just like that, we can upgrade our dirt block into an evolved dirt. So say goodbye to this cute bobbly-eyed piece of dirt. And hello to the evolved dirt. Oh, wait, what? He's so cute. Look how happy he is. He's actually wicked cute looking. I'm the happiest dirt ever. You know, besides the fact that my friends were murdered, now I have to get revenge on them by killing the villager hunters. But anyway, we now have 10 total hearts of HP, which means we're now equivalent to one full Minecraft player. But I'm versing three full Minecraft players. So uh, we're still at a large disadvantage here. Though I guess one benefit is we now have reach two, which means I can now break blocks and walls that are wicked far out of my range. And I apparently do not fit in one high gaps anymore. So I actually don't fit outside my base. I just realized but that's not fun. So let's uh, fix that real quick. Okay, cool. We have a clear way out now again, but it's not really hidden anymore. So I'm gonna have to work on that in a second. So for the rest of today, let's just focus on redisguising this entrance a bit and seeing if we can kind of make it blend in by just filling in a lot of these gaps in the walls and stuff. Okay, I think this is pretty good. It looks a lot more hidden now again than it did a second ago. And now you have to actually walk over here to find the little tunnel and then you'll be inside. I think this should be hidden enough for now. So we do have to actually build ourselves some doors because now mobs can just kind of walk in if they find their way. So we'll just build ourselves two doors there and now make a new little cherry log design that goes all the way around our new entrance and now our entrance is good to go okay so welcome to day 15 now that we've upgraded our dirt it's time to get a little bit stronger with a new combat ability and this next ability is called the tunneling blade which gives us a sword as strong as diamond but can let us tunnel underneath players whatever that means i'm not gonna lie i really kind of want to know what that means so we gotta unlock this as soon as possible so let's unlock the quest and now we just have to get not today thank you loot an intact desert temple and then get three kills with our slingshot which is gonna be hard because our slingshot really isn't that strong but anyway for now let's start with the easiest one which is getting not today thank you it means we just have to block an arrow with our shield. And I'm not gonna lie, there actually is a problem with this advancement. I already got it. I already have a shield. I've been shielding stuff for a long time at this point. So if I go to my advancements menu, you're gonna see Not Today Thank You was unlocked a long time ago. But luckily there's this thing called commands. And there we go. We revoked the advancement from myself. So now I can earn it once again. Otherwise, we just wouldn't be able to unlock this. I don't wanna hear anyone calling me out for cheating in the comments on that one. Look, there have been times where I've cheated and you've called me out and that's fair game. This is not one of those instances. Okay, now let's get Not Today Thank You. We need to actually block an arrow or a projectile with our shield. Shield. So I'm trying to get a get find a gas in the nether that will just quickly shoot at us But I don't think there's any gas nearby So I'm actually gonna go back to the overworld and just do it with a skeleton instead All right, so let's just go down into this cave Let's find a skeleton or any mob or some mob that can just shoot at us. There's one. Come here. Shoot. Yeah, there you go, buddy Thank you and now go away. Okay, cool We got not today. Thank you for the second time and now it's time to go loot a desert temple So let's get going to the desert and start looking for one because I haven't seen one yet So uh, I don't think there's one in the desert I know about so I went out and searched everywhere for a desert temple and I found one on day 18. We got a desert village up ahead. Is there no, oh, there's another desert village actually up there. There's two villages right next to each other. I think I just saw a desert temple. I did. There's a desert temple. Oh my god, dude, this is OP. Two desert villages right next to each other with a desert temple right next to it? That's so cool. Okay, well, let's go loot that desert temple, and it says it has to be intact in these blocks. There we go. Now let's go down here. Oh yeah, we're gonna have to break blocks no matter what to get down there, so let's just go down here, down here, down here, down here. Okay, now we have to just catch ourselves. Here we go. Ready? There we go. Perfect. Now just loot a chest. Boom. We looted it without setting off the TNT. So now we can just... Oh, God. Um, well, if there was any items down there, they're gone. I, I'm honestly just kind of lucky I didn't blow up with that. I thought I was gonna have to restart the video already. Oh, uh, well, we got the quest done, but uh, if there was any good loot in there, we don't know about it. So I guess now let's just build back up and get out of here. Okay, now we just need to get kills with our slingshot. But uh, I actually have no idea where the hunters are hiding at the minute. So I'm gonna go find them real quick. So that way we can start getting our revenge on them for what they did to my dirt brethren. But luckily, it didn't matter if I knew where their base was or not. Because I would happen to find a village that was already looted. So uh, that kind of made finding their base really easy. Okay, let's check this village. They love to live in villages, so we'll check this out. Oh, wait a minute. I could be onto something. Look at this. There's no crops here. I've never been to this village. Actually, speak of the devil, I don't see any hay bales. Okay, I don't see any base at all here, but there is another village over that way. Let's check that out. Because if this village is looted, they might live in this village over here. It's looted. It's looted. This farm's looted. And once again, I don't see any hay bales. Oh, that's pretty su- Tinted glass. They live up there. Oh, wait. I think that's gotta be a villager. Oh, that's definitely a player. Oh my god. Yo, I see a dirt block out there. They definitely see me. They live up here in this hill let's try to climb above their mountain and get to the tinted glass area oh where they're on us hold on we're in a bad spot nice we got him we got him we got him get over here oh my god i'm covered in dirt that should make him blind let's go around the back here let's climb this let's climb up 
Okay, keep climbing. Here we go. Okay, we're getting close. Okay, their base is somewhere around here. I saw this villager. Oh, here's the tinted glass. Okay, we're at the base. Let's just break in here through the tinted glass. Okay, where they're at? They're not in here. Okay, yeah, they're not in here. They're not in here. Let's block this in case they try and come up. Oh, yeah, they're in the village. They're in the village. Oh, they have a tractor. Oh, hit the tractor. Okay, we gotta hit them with our dirt. We need three kills with this slingshot. Let's get them. Actually, I have an idea. If they try and come up and they break this block, we can get them here so bad. Come on, we can get them here. We can get them here. It just takes 10,000 minutes to shoot it. Oh, we killed them. Oh, we got a kill. Oh, wait, he's just one right here. We gotta be super careful. Carefully. Okay, wherever they come out. Ah! Oh, we killed her. Okay, that's one. Oh, uh. Yes! Oh! We got all three kills! Run! Get away from them. Get away from them. Oh, there's a giant tractor behind me! Get back here, boy! Oh, God. Run, dirt block. Run. Let's unlock it. Combat. Tunneling blade. Okay, we have the tunneling blade now. Let's see how this works. Let's go to the. Oh, that's getting. I'm gonna be quick. Let's go under. Let's go under. And that exploded when I got hit. I think that. I don't know if that was a tunneling blade or what. Oh! They just tried to throw a hoe at me. And it exploded! We need to wait for this cooldown. Let's see if we can get another kill. Three. No. Nice, we got one, we got one. Oh my god, this slingshot stinks. It's so slow. Oh my god. Oh, it actually killed him! No, dude! Oh my, oh my god, thank you. Let's get this last one. Boom. Oh, he threw a pickaxe at me. Nice, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead. Okay, we unlocked our new ability. I'm gonna get out of here for now because I still don't fully understand how it's working. And I really don't want to die. I don't see them. And I'm pretty sure we're safe and out of here. We survived. Now go buy something at ryguy.shop. Anyway, now that we've unlocked our brand new tunneling blade, which lets us go underground if there's farmers nearby. As you can see, when I right-click it now, it says there's no farmers nearby. So uh, this literally doesn't do anything unless there's farmers nearby. But with that unlocked, it's now time to unlock a jackhammer, which is an omni tool that will double all ores we mine. And double ore sounds OP, so let's get it. All we have to do is get nine glowberries, one spyglass, and two bells. And since I found a billion villages at this point, let's just go steal a few bells. Okay, here's the spawn village, and here is... Wait, two bells. Wait, what? Multiple bells per village? That's a thing? I'm grabbing this one, and then I'll grab this one, and there we go. Well, that was easy. Bell one, bell two. Okay, well, the bells were super easy to get. Now, I guess it's time to make a spyglass and then go grab some glowberries. Now, spyglass is gonna be kind of tricky because we have to go down to our cave and then actually find some amethyst. So, let's see if we can find some of that real quick. Oh, we found a huge one. Look at this. I found one inside an abandoned mine shaft. Okay, now we need to grab some amethyst shards. Now, to make a spyglass, we literally only need one. So, with this in hand, we're good to go. Okay, now let's just throw some copper in here real quick and let it get smelting. And there we go. Just like that, we do copper, copper, amethyst, and we get ourselves a spyglass. And now we just need some glowberries, but uh, the cave below my base doesn't have any. So, we specifically have to go look for a glowberry cave, which uh, we're not going to find here. Oh, found glowberries. Let's go over here. And let's see what we can do. Ready? Whoa. Okay, we got seven. Is that all we needed? Boom! We have everything we need to get the jackhammer. And boom, we unlocked it. Okay, let's try this thing out. So, if I break this. Oh my god, look at this. It's breaking so many blocks so fast. And then, wait, can I? Shift right click it. Now it's a lighter. Now it's shears. And now it's back to being an omni tool. Oh, this is so cool. It's a weapon, too. Okay, let's just double these diamonds and then let's head home. Oh my goodness. We just got six diamonds. Okay, we're home. <gasps> I just saw a nameplate. I just saw a name. I'm almost positive. Yeah, I just saw a nameplate. I just saw a nameplate. I just saw a nameplate. Oh, I see a name. I see a name. Oh god, I hope he didn't see us. The hunters are in my base. The hunters are 100 percent in my base. If the hunters are in my base, I might be able to sneak around them. Hold up, watch this. This should lead to my cave. Can okay, I go up our stairs? It's gonna be huge, 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 huge play. We're definitely at home and not near your base. Ah, uh, psych! We lied! <laughs> oh, I missed it, missed it, missed it, missed it. Go down, no, 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 no. Oh, it's not gonna explode. Oh, run. We're still going on health. We're still going on health. Swim this way. They don't know where I went. Okay, take this chance. Let's get back to the base. Go this way, go this way. Bury them. Just bury them, dude. What is this? They tried to trap. Look at this. They tried to trap me in a lava pit. Oh, they're coming through. They're coming through. Oh, what? How did he find me? I'm building a wall. I'm building a wall. I'm building a wall. Let's actually grab our stuff. Let's grab our stuff. Let's just get out of here. Quick, quick, quick. Grab the important stuff. Oh, they grabbed a bunch of it already. I can tell. I got him. I got him. I got him. I'm going. I'm going. I'm getting out of here. We're going. We're going. Oh, God. I'm low. I'm low. I'm low. Oh, we're low. We need to go. We just need to get out of here. We just need to go. We need to go. We need to go. Oh, I missed. Going uphill, so just watch out. Where'd he go? Go this way. I can't even tell if they see me, actually. Hold on. We can get away here. We can get away here. Leap down this hill in the water. Oh, yeah. They're, they're trying to get over here. They're trying to get over here. Oh, he almost got me with that, actually. Oh, God. We can get away. We can get away. Well, they're building across. We can get away. This is going to be huge. I don't see them. Okay. I think we're actually good. I think we're actually good. Let's just climb this then. Let's just climb this hill and we'll be good. We are out of here. Let's go. Oh, we barely lived that. But we're live and that's really all that matters. I'm not going to lie. Our first base lasted way longer against the farmers than I thought it would. So I'm going to take that as a mini victory. From here, however, I decided to build a base that was even more hidden. But uh, just to keep it fun, I built that base under another broken nether portal. Okay, so welcome your face to the brand new dirt block base. As you can see, I'm right on the edge of a jungle, right next to a river. And once again, I'm right next to a broken nether portal. But this time, instead of living in the nether portal, I'm using it as a distraction. So anyone that comes over here is automatically gonna wanna loot this chest, which I'm leaving unlooted, and it looks pretty natural, so you won't assume anyone lives near here. But if you simply go around this corner and go underneath these leaves, you're gonna find this little waterway. And when you swim into it, you'll see it leads to an underwater cave and right down 
down there is my base. So you just go in this little water path here and we're here. Now, who is gonna expect a dirt block to live underwater? Nobody. So now that we're done with that introduction, let me show you the actual base. So obviously this base looks a lot nicer than our last one. We have cherry wood doors, all these cherry logs everywhere. We got our enchanter done with, our beds over here. And overall, this base is just gonna be much easier to survive in because it's also a lot more hidden. And since we've finished the tier two evolution, the tier two combat and the tier two utility upgrade, it's time for tier three. And I really think we need to get stronger. So we should probably work on devastating blow. And to unlock that's kind of difficult. We need the advancement. Those were the days. We need to kill 10 vexes and then hit a bunch of players with our tunneling sword when we're near them. Now to take on vexes, we're gonna need a woodland mansion, but I have no idea where one is. So let's just start by getting the advancement. Those were the days, which is this advancement here that you can see I've already completed. Oops. Oh, hey, look, those were the days. Uh, enter a bastion remnant. That was totally never unlocked before. So let's go to the nether and let's get that advancement. Okay, this nether portal is pretty far from my other one. So I actually don't know where to find a bastion. So we'll probably have to look for a new one. Oh, bastion, 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 bastion. I found one. Let's go. Okay, now we just need to get inside this bastion right here. We just have to get inside, right? So if I just get up to it and just do this. Yep, we're good. We got those were the days. Okay, so with that, the advancement's done. Now let's just go home. And I guess we'll start heading to a woodland mansion. I'm not gonna lie. I really don't want to. I hate fighting vexes. They're the worst mob in the game. At least in my opinion. Let me know in the comments what your least favorite mob is. Okay, so the first step in actually finding Vexus is to get sugarcane, like right here. Now, obviously, six isn't gonna be enough. In fact, we're probably gonna need like two stacks. So let's just try to find a desert real quick because it'll be easiest to get sugarcane there. Okay, there we go. We have all the sugarcane we need. And now we just need to grab a bunch of sand. So uh, let's pull out our Omni tool and let's get to work. And there we go. That's uh, way more than enough sand. So let's just turn our sugar cane into paper and our sand into glass panes. And then we're good to head to a woodland mansion. Okay, so let's turn all our sugar cane into paper to start. Now we should wait for all our sand to finish smelting. So in the meantime, let's just make sure we have all the rest of the stuff we're gonna need. Like the fact that we're gonna need to make two compasses and the fact that we have to make ourselves a cartography table. Okay, let's take the 32 glass we have and let's turn it into glass panes, which means now we just have to trade with some villagers to actually locate a woodland mansion and kill 10 vexes. So let's start with this guy right here. Let's see if we can give him a job of becoming a cartographer. Nope, nope, he won't. Okay. Okay, see you later. You, you want the job, right? Yeah, he's coming for it. He's gonna do it. Yes! And let's trade him a bunch of paper for emeralds like we always do. So now we'll do glass panes and that should give us even more emeralds, more than enough. Yeah, we, we definitely have enough emeralds now. And then last but not least, he'll give us the woodland explorer map for one compass and a bunch of emeralds. And now we simply follow this map to get to the woodland mansion and take on a bunch of vexes. Okay, the map's starting to generate. We did go a little past it, but we're definitely getting back to it. I still don't even see this woodland mansion yet. Where is it? Oh, found it. Okay, we're pretty much at the woodland mansion. We're just gonna break through and go to the top floor. Okay, here we go. Let's find our way in. Let's go to the top here. There we go. We made it. Now let's just break a hole in the roof. Perfect. Let's go in this room and let's clear it out. Next wall, spawn of X. He was right here. Kill off the guys with the axes first. There we go. Get them on me. Okay, there we go. Time to battle these dudes. There, he, there they are. Come on. One Vex down. There we go. Two Vexes down. Nice. Okay, we've killed two Vexes. There's the third. There we go. Three Vexes down. Come on, seven more Vexes. There you go. Two down. There we go. Three Vexes down. That's six. Come on, keep spawning Vexes. Let's go. Let's go, dude. I'm kicking you a booty. There we go. We got a lot of Vexes on us. Another Vex down. We just need to kill one more. Come on. There he is. There we go. That's all we need to kill this guy. There we go. Grab his totem. Let's put his totem on. There we go. Let's go. Dude, that's huge. All the Vexes are now dead. Now let's just collect as many totems of undying as we can in this place. Okay, I've looted the rest of this place. There is literally no more totems in here. Just the one that we got. So good thing we didn't kill that magical pillager, whatever he's called. The illusioner, I believe. Otherwise, we would have just screwed ourselves. But we didn't. We got the totem. We got all the Vex kills. Now let's just get out of here. Let's just get up in this tree. And now let's head on home. Okay, so now that we have a totem of undying in our hand and we killed 10 Vexes, there's literally only one more quest we can see on our screen. And that's it 10 players with our tunneling blade. Which means let's make our way back to where the hunter's base is and let's use our tunneling blade to get them underground. Okay, so let's use our tunneling blade on them right here. Okay, I see them. I see their name. And now if I tunnel under them with this sword, I should teleport to them and they'll explode. Okay, here we go. Let's try this. Oh! Yeah. What? what? Oh my gosh. No, jump, 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 jump. Oh my God. I didn't kill any of them, but it definitely got three of them. Oh my God. That's three hits with the tunneling blade already. We just need two more. We'll be done with this quest. Their whole base just exploded. Look at it. Oh my goodness. Okay, we just need to hold them back for a little bit longer. Look at all their bookshelves and stuff. That must be from like an enchanting room. Oh my God. My inventory's full. I heard one jump. I heard one jump. We got the tunneling blade again. I need to just get two more. Here we go. Ready? And <laughs> get back here, dirt block. Oh, what? What was that? We got one. We got one. Hoping that would get two, but it only got one. Okay, we just need one more. Oh, he hit, me. he hit me. Oh, I'm stunned. Yeah, he gets unlocked. Yeah. Oh, God. That's gonna. Oh, God. Okay, we're stunned. We're alive. We're alive. We're alive. Oh, my God. If they hit me with that hoe, it literally stuns me. That is so crazy. Okay, we're up. I got it. I got it. Ready? Boom. Got him. What is this? Gotta eat some dirt. I gotta eat some dirt. He's trying to. He's trying to kill me. He's trying to kill me. 
Oh my god, I got a bolt. I got a bolt. Let's go. Let's go, dude. They didn't even stun me. We unlock our next combat upgrade, which is devastating blow. Pick up and throw blocks. If I hit an enemy, they become trapped in a ball of that block, suffocating them. Let's go ahead and let's unlock that. Let's put that in our inventory. Let's try this out. There's one coming in. He's being careful. You can tell I just unlocked a new upgrade. Okay, I can pick up blocks and I can chuck them at him. Oh my god, look at this. Oh, what is that cooldown? Oh, I'm gonna have to run. Go this way, go this way, go this way. Go, go, go. Oh, no farmers nearby. Did I lose them? Let's climb this tree. I don't. Oh, right there, right there, right there. Oh, he sees me. Oh god. Oh, he's in the tree. He's in the tree. Go this way, go this way, go this way. Just keep hopping across the trees. I actually have an idea. I have a huge idea. Watch this. Let's go to this little island over here. I don't see them. Oh, I see them. I see them. I see them. Uh oh, get across, get across, get across. Oh gosh, yeah, they're across the water. They're across the water. Let's throw blocks at them. Ready? And. <laughs> You're not getting away. What is that? What? <laughs> oh, gosh. Let's go. Oh, my God. This is so cool. This ability. He's trapped in all the grass. Wait, are they both trapped in there? Oh, no. no he's trying to dig him out. Let's get the other one. <laughs> this ability is so funny. <laughs> he's just stuck. They both suffocated in a wall. And now I am out of here. So, yeah. Anyway, our ability to throw blocks is really, really cool and really broken. But not as cool as our next ability, Mud Slide, which is an ability that should let me put a bunch of mud on the ground that makes me stronger and the farmers weaker. And I don't know if you if you've ever seen a mudslide in real life, but they're uh, terrifying. So let's unlock mudslide. All we need is one observer, eight podzel, and gold horse armor. And luckily making an observer is super easy. So let's start by going to the nether and grabbing some quartz. There we go. And now let's just go back home. And now we just combine together a bunch of our redstone with the quartz and a bunch of cobblestone to make ourselves an observer. And just like that, the first quest is done. Now let's make our way back to the nether to get the second item on the list, which has got to be the gold horse armor. Now we can find this in bastions all throughout the nether. So it's really not too difficult. We just got to find a bastion I haven't looted yet because uh, I've looted all the ones near here. Okay, I found a bastion right over here this should do let's just go inside here and loot the chest and see if we can get some gold horse armor okay now let's start digging in okay let's check this first check whoop they see me they see me they see me oh they're all trapped down here let's go that's huge okay we know this chest doesn't have what i need but it does have a couple smithing templates let's hope this one has it it doesn't and now let's just dig this way and there should be another chest Oh, no, wait, we're in the lava building. There's not a chest this way. Okay, but here's a chest right here. Please have what I need, chest. There we go. Boom, the gold horse armor. We got it. Now we just need to get a puzzle to finish a mudslide. So let's head on home. Excuse me, just coming through. Ignore me. Ooh, 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 ooh. Now you can't follow me. Goodbye. Oh! Okay, so we're not gonna talk about uh, that. But ignoring that, let's just work on getting the last item we need, which is a bunch of podzel. It's like that extra dirty dirt you can get. But to get it, you need a silk touch pickaxe, which I definitely do not have. So let's go ahead and let's make ourselves a fresh diamond pickaxe. And then let's go over here to our enchanting table and let's see if we can get ourselves silk touch. Okay, watch first try. Boom. Oh my god, we did. We got it first try. Well, that was easy. Now let's just go get some podzel. But it wasn't easy. It turns out podzel only spawns in a limited amount of biomes. So I had to travel super far to a bamboo jungle biome just to get some extra dirty dirt. Oh, let's go. Found some bamboo, which means we've also found some podzel, I think. I haven't actually ever done this, so, uh... Oh, yeah, look, right here. Podzel. So now I just take the silk touch pick, and I should get podzel. I did it. Okay, now let's just grab eight of that. And there we go, but a big bit of boom, we can unlock mudslide. Now that we grabbed all that podzel. And now we gotta try out mudslide. Let's see how this works. Okay, I'm gonna hit the button. Let's see what it does. Oh! Oh, snap! Look at all this mud it put on the ground. And when I'm in this mud, you're gonna notice I get speed bonuses and strength bonuses. So apparently flowers are immune to my mud, but whatever. This ability looks sick. Now it's time to head home. And this is gonna take a little while because I had to travel so far by boat just to get to this place. Okay, so now that we can literally slide on mud. Oh, well, now my base is covered in mud. Actually, that's probably not a bad thing because now I have a speed boost in my own base. This is actually pretty good. Okay, so that accidentally worked out in my favor. But now that we did that, it's time to unlock the lively dirt. Not only because my hearts will go from 10 hearts to 20 hearts, but uh, the guy also gets a bunch of other abilities as well. Like, if you look at this, I get reach four and fire resistance. So this lively dirt's gonna be pretty OP. And funnily enough, the new dirt guy is actually really easy to unlock. We just need to get some cobwebs, some crying obsidian, and some pink petals. Now, our first base had a ton of pink trees near it, so let's just go back to that area there and grab some pink petals, because I know they're there. Okay, boom, there is all the pink trees we could ever need. We just gotta climb that mountain and grab pink petals. Oh, okay, here we go. We made it up to the top, and here's a bunch of pink petals. So let's just grab these real quick. And with these pink petals done, that's the first quest completed. Now we literally just need crying obsidian and cobwebs. Well, crying obsidian should be pretty easy. I mean, we do have a silk touch pickaxe. So all we have to do is find an abandoned nether portal and then just break some crying obsidian on it. Because I literally only need one. So this really shouldn't be that hard. In fact, I'm pretty sure my first base was in a nether portal. Oh, there it is. There it is. Yeah, it was. See, look, it was underneath a nether portal. I did remember. It was right here. Let's see how my base looks. Wow, just as uh, destroyed as it did before. But anyway, let's just grab this singular crying obsidian on the outside and let's take it for ourselves. And boom, just like that, crying obsidian 
obsidian done. Now we literally just need eight cobwebs. So we can just go to the abandoned mine shaft at home and grab those. Okay, so let's just make our way down to the abandoned mine shaft real quick so that way we can get ourselves some cobwebs. Okay, there's the abandoned mine shaft right here. Now let's just go grab ourselves some cobwebs. Okay, here's one here. Here's two. Here's three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. We're done. And there we go. We now have all the cobweb we need, which means we can say goodbye to this cute, tiny, little, dirty man and say hello to the lively dirt. Oh my God, he's adorable. <laughs> Look at him. He's so much cuter than the other one. I got a little flower on my head now and everything. I think this might be the cutest model we've ever had in a video. He's so derpy looking. I love him. And he's apparently OP too. Because yeah, I can literally reach this block all the way over here. Also on top of that, supposedly I'm lava proof now. And I am, otherwise this video would be over. But anyway, yeah, this cute little guy is incredible and I love him. Okay, so it's day 42, which is great news because it means we can finally move on to tier four, which means we're finally in range to start banning the farmers. And that's how I'm gonna get my revenge on them for what they did at the start of the video with my dirt blocks. We literally will be able to kick them off the server for good. You see this ability here called fossilized reinforcements? I'm gonna be able to summon these giant dinosaurs. And if I kill the farmers while that's happening, they're banned. But anyway, enough of that because we still gotta finish tier four before we can even use that. So let's get started on composting combustion. Or that's normally what I would say. But I actually have a funny plan I wanna do first before finishing up this quest line. And that's to make a bunch of TNT. Okay, so if we take all of the gunpowder we have, right? And we split it up. And then we surround the rest of the slots in sand. We should be able to make a bunch of TNT. And now I'm gonna take this TNT to the farmer's base. I'm doing this because I wanna slow them down so I can just keep focusing on upgrading. Because as we get closer to the end here, I don't want them to steal any of our upgrades. Because lately in almost every video, they've been getting to the end when I do and stealing the dragon egg. So I'm just gonna try and slow them down now so that doesn't happen. So uh, I'm at their base and I kind of forgot I blew it up. So I doubt they live here anymore seeing as it's still pouring water out of it. Uh, yeah, no, this base is definitely abandoned. They're not here anymore. So let's go find their new one and blow that up instead. So I went around looking for the farmer's new base and I actually found it on day 44. However, I couldn't just walk inside. I had to spy on the base first and wait for the farmers to leave. Once they left, I took my chance. Someone's definitely been here. The question is, is this? <gasps> it is a base. Literally, look at that right there. There's literally a base right there. Okay, I don't see anybody. Nope, no one's here yet. Okay, cool. Oh, they have a bunch of lapis. Yo, I will gladly take some of that. Okay, so it looks like they have two entrances. They can come in this way through this waterfall or they can come in over here with this little water entrance. So let's go ahead and let's put a trip wire here and a trip wire right here. Now let's just go ahead and let's dig out a little TNT trap. And so now we just need this redstone to connect downward under the floor. Okay, so we'll surround TNT like this here. Now we just need this redstone signal come over here and touch this TNT and now it can be set off. Okay, that trap is active. Now they have a TNT trap in their base. Oh, it's nighttime, which is perfect timing because they're not here. And next time they are here, they're gonna blow up. Okay, so now that they have TNT inside of their base, we just have to wait for them to come home and uh, hopefully we see them die in chat. Though I do wonder where they were because they obviously weren't home. Yo, guys, be careful about something in the warden, all right? Uh-oh. <gasps> oh, come on. Oh, oh, no, no, no. no so anyway, now it's time to work on composting combustion. And to start, we have to get the advancement this boat has legs, where you ride a strider with a warped fungus on a stick. Now we just have to make ourselves a warped fungus on a stick. In fact, here's a warped fungus right here. Now we just take that warped fungus, combine it with the fishing rod. And now we just gotta go over here and find a strider. You take this saddle. Let me hop on top. There we go. We got this boat as legs. Anyway, we're done with you. You can go live about your life. Just put me back on my dirt. Okay, now that we're done with that advancement, we're gonna go pay the farmers a visit, which is kind of unfortunate because I don't even think they've fallen from my trap yet. Okay, hi everybody. This is future Rye Guy here. I'm cutting in recording this in the future. It actually turns out they found my trap really fast and well, uh, you know, I'm just gonna let you see their perspective. Wait, what the? Yo! Oh my god, there's a trap here! Oh my gosh! Yo, guys, the dirt block tried to trap our base, dude. Yo, I think we can use this TNT on him. So yeah, that's about to happen, but this is me in the past again, who, uh, has no idea what's about to happen when I go through that nether portal. So yeah, that's it. Let's go on through, guys. TT. Oh god! He trapped it! He triggered it! He triggered it! Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh, I'm so dead. Oh, we're alive. We're alive. We're alive. Get up here. Get up here to the entrance. Oh my God. I almost died. Oh, they're starting to show up. Hold on. Hold on. So up here, I can block them up up here. I can... There we go. They're blocked off. They're drowning. There we go. One down. Oh, they're starting to dig up. Okay. He's in a leaf prison. There we go. Ah! Oh, right. That's not going to hold him very long. What about a melon prison? <laughs> Let's get it with this. Oh, yes. We got him. Stop it. No. Only one more. Only one more. There we go. We got him. He's dead. Yes. Let's get back to our base and get our stuff back. And then let's move to a new base really quick because that base is definitely compromised. So that explosion was almost the end of the video. I got so lucky to survive that. And the only reason I survived is because I can eat dirt and heal. That likely saved my life. Anyway, with that beautiful base now destroyed, it was time to make a third dirt base that I decided to call it dirt. Okay, welcome to my new base. I didn't hide it at all. It's literally a giant dirt cube. But I figured this was fitting. Look, I'm a dirt block and now I live in a giant dirt block. 
block. It seems fitting, doesn't it? So all we do to get inside is jump in this little waterfall here and swim on up. So once you get past all these smokestacks, you enter the giant dirt cube where we have a skeleton horse I found. And I named this one Bones and he's now my friend. Now besides Bones, this base is actually pretty cool and I'll show you everything in order. Starting with our infinite lava generator, then our nether portal, our enchanting table, our main survival area where we have a jukebox where all discs are allowed except for cat and finally an infinite water source. You're also gonna notice this parkour course which is really just so my ADHD brain can just hop around this little box. But anyway, to finish up our tier four upgrade and get composting combustion, we gotta wage war on the farmers. Cause if you read the last two quests, we literally have to catch some players with mudslide and kill some with devastating blow. So let's get going to their base and let's give them a devastating blow. Yep, there's their base right up there. Let's grab this cobblestone. Let's jump down. Here we go. If we see someone, we're getting them. Oh, um, I think I hit their cow. Save Jake. No. Oh, that did not work. That did not work. I put mud out there. Now they're all going to get mud slided. We just got three out of four. We just got to get one more. And then we need to get one more with devastating blow and we'll be good. Okay, let's get over here to their base again. And we're back inside. Nice. There we go. Wow. Okay, we're going down. Totem, 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 totem. Oh gosh. Run, run, run. Nice, we trapped him, we trapped him, we trapped him. Go! Okay, so we're home, and uh, that plan did not work at all. We got most of the quest done, though, and we literally just need one more kill with Devastating Blow, and we would have been done. To be honest, I probably should have stayed and just worked on that. But they popped my totem of undying, so I'm not really gonna risk anything. In fact, before we go back, let's go and let's make ourselves some diamond armor real quick. Now we'll get rid of the iron armor, put on diamond armor, and now let's head to an ancient city and see if we can quickly get a god apple. Okay, cool. We're back at the ancient city we found earlier in the lush caves. And now let's just start looting some of these chests and seeing what we can find. Okay, let's check this one. Oh, we got the best music disc other side. We'll allow that to be played at our jukebox at home but you know what won't be allowed cat i don't think so yes there we go we got one we finally got a gold apple that's enchanted and now with the amount of wardens that are here i think i'm just gonna get out of here and use our new diamond armor and enchanted apple to take on the hunters once and for all and get them with the last ability okay we're back at their base and all we need to do is get one kill with devastating blow so we just grab a block throw it at them get them to suffocate and they're good let's go in ready and jump in oh god oh that did not work Okay, she's trapped. What did this say? Rip Jake? Was that the cow I killed? He's trapped in bookshelves. Good luck getting out of that, buddy. Yes, he's suffocated. That's all the kills we needed. Now we can lock composting combustion. Let's go right here and do it here. Ready? There we go. All their chests are destroyed. That messed them up. He's done. They're, they're still spawning over there. Hold on. I, I have to figure out why they're still spawning. Oh, taking some damage here. Oh, wait, what's this scaffolding? Oh, wait, I found their beds. Bye-bye. Okay, they have no more beds. He's breaking our beds. He's breaking our beds. No. Nice. They're trapped up there again. He fell in the water. He fell in the water. Let's get him. Nice. He's dead. Oh, there's another one on us. Ready? Quick. Grab this stone and bonk. Oh, we missed. Bonk. <laughs> Any more on us? Nope. We're good. We're good. We're good. And their beds are destroyed, so they can't respawn, which means my work is done and I'm out of here. Okay, so we unlocked a brand new ability that I didn't even get to try out, but that's okay because we're going to try it out right now. Now, the new ability is composting combustion, which apparently says I drop a composter from the sky that sucks up nearby blocks. So let's try it out. I'm going to use the ability here. Okay, there's the composter. I probably want to get far away from this thing. I don't want to risk dying. Let's just build up here. Oh. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'd say it made a tiny explosion. It destroys everything. That is so busted. Okay, so uh, now that we know we can drop absolute nuclear bombs, I can just destroy the hunter's bases with that. I don't even need to do my like weird sword ability where I go underground. I, I don't have to do any of that. In fact, now that we have this really OP ability, I don't know if we can lose. But just in case I can still lose, let's get our next ability healing roots to make sure that we can heal ourselves whenever we need to. Now to unlock this, I just need a totem of undying. I just lost one of those. And then I just need 16 mycelium and eight gunpowder. So let's start by getting another totem by finding a brand new woodland mansion since we know the one I looted definitely doesn't have any more totems. So let's make our way back to the desert real quick and let's grab a bunch of sugar cane and sand. Okay, I've had a desert. Now I'm going to make this really, really quick. And there we go. Now we have a fresh woodland explorer map. Now if I'm looking, this mansion is definitely far to our southwest. So let's start heading south this way and then we'll head west till we reach the woodland mansion. Okay, I made it to the woodland mansion. Now let's just start building up. Okay, cool. And we made it to the roof. Now we just need to... Oh, look, look, look. That's literally the hunters. No way. Is this their new base after I blew up their last one? It is. Look, they have chests right there. The top floor is definitely already taken. So I don't think we're going to find an illusioner there. So let's just build down a floor. Oh God. Oh, they found me. They know I'm here now. Okay, whatever. We just need to find an illusioner. Okay, she's stuck in the carpets. I'll let her deal with that. I'm gonna keep running. There we go. Tunneling bladed. Yes, that got me out. Oh my gosh! No! <laughs> nice, we got him. He's dead, he's dead, he's dead. Okay, I don't think there's an illusioner anywhere in here. And they all seem to have totems of undying. Check their chest, see if they have any extra or something. No totem. Totem! We're good. We got the totem. Grab some of the other stuff they have. They're really low on stuff right now because we just destroyed their base. And we're about to destroy this one too. I'm resetting them again. Bye bye beds. Now let's drop the bomb on them. Ready? 
There it is. Okay, it's starting to suck things in. Now, it won't kill me. Let's just break this glass. Let's get outside. And now watch. This should just detonate everything. Oh my gosh. The whole woodland mansion's gone pretty much. Okay, well, they're dead. Let's just start building over this way. And let's get out of here. We're still taking fire. Oh, wait, no, they are alive. Fine, I'll play ranged wars with you. Take that. There we go. She's stuck in wood. She's gonna blow herself up. Boom. I got you. No, no, Jenny, no. I'm putting another bomb here. Look, it's gonna start sucking in the blocks. Let's just run. He's trying to shield it. Go, go, go. I don't think he realizes he can break that. Nope, he definitely didn't realize. Wait, what the? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, God. Luckily, we take no fall damage. Anyway, he's dead, and now we can get out of here. Okay, so now that we got that totem of undying, we just need to get mycelium and gunpowder. Now, I'm not gonna lie. The gunpowder I already have, so that's easy. But the mycelium, that is a little tougher. Or it would be if I wasn't already dirt. You see, being a piece of dirt, I actually have a power that I haven't shown off yet. Okay, so if I put a piece of dirt right here and I pull up my slingshot, you're gonna see that if I shoot the slingshot at this piece of dirt, it will turn into another random piece of dirt. Y you'll see what I mean in a sec. Okay, there we go. You'll see that one turned into mud, which is not what we want. So let's break it again. Put down another piece of dirt and we'll shoot it again. And this time, let's see what we get. Okay, once again, we got, I think it's Podzel. We don't need that. Let's do it again. Give me mycelium. Yes, speak and you shall receive mycelium. Now we can grab that. If we look at our quest menu, we have one of 16 mycelium. But you get the idea. I basically just have to keep doing this until I get all the mycelium we need. So uh, let's keep going. Okay, we're done. That's 16 mycelium, which means now we just have to grab the eight gunpowder from our base and we're done. Okay, so let's just go grab that gunpowder and now we can unlock the healing roots ability. Now I have roots growing out of me that are healing me up to full. Oh, and I should probably also tell you if anyone tries to hit me while I'm healing with my roots, the roots will throw them 100 blocks in the sky. Anyway, on to the next upgrade, which wait a minute, we just need to get the soil sergeant. We just need two music discs, a heart of the sea and netherite ingots. In fact, I think I may already have a couple music discs. Oh, there is, there's two other side discs. So that should work, right? We already have that quest complete. I guess instead let's go for the heart of the sea. There's a chest right here. Here. Yep, there we go. Buried treasure map. We found a buried treasure map. Now let's just follow this map and let's see where it leads. And it leads somewhere around here. Uh, the X is literally right in front of us. Yeah, it's probably like somewhere like right here. I don't want to risk destroying it. Oh, I destroyed it. It was right there. Okay, there's the heart of the sea. And now all we need left is a netherite ingot, which surprisingly isn't that hard. Let's just make our way into the nether. And now we just need four ancient debris or just, you know, find a netherite ingot, which we can do if we just end up at a new bastion that we haven't looted yet. Okay, and that right there is the bastion we're looking for. This will work perfectly. Let's go see if this thing has any netherite. Okay, there we go. Let's check this chest. Nope. No netherite or ancient debris. Got a chest here. We got an ancient... No, we have a netherite ingot. Even better. We done. We got the item we needed. We just need to go home and grab the two other side discs, which we're gonna play right now in celebration. Nope. There's the music discs. And now we can say goodbye to this cute flower-headed dirt thing. And now we can say hello to the soil sergeant. Oh my god, I'm just like a buff piece of dirt. Anyway, let's go to sleep because tomorrow we get to finally start on all of our final upgrades. Okay, so to get our tier 5 upgrades, we have to go to the end. I mean, literally, to get the mud gun, we need chorus fruit. And to get the mud monarch, we need both a dragon head and a dragon egg. And to go to the end, we have to go to the nether. So we're going back. And this time we're not going far. We're literally just going right here to this nether fortress. And we're gonna start killing some blazes for their blaze rods. Oh, hey, speaking of the devil, uh, there's a blaze rod. Now let's just go this way over here and let's head over to this blaze spawner. There we go. We have eight blaze rods. Now we just have to look for a bastion with a lot of gold. Okay, we found a bastion. Is this a bridge or is this not a bridge? It's definitely a bridge. If I break down here, we're gonna end up on a bridge. See? Now we can just grab this and this. And that's two gold. <gasps> it's alive! I thought that burned for sure. Okay, let's make our way back up. And let's build a little pit here that we can trap piglins in, which will come in handy later when we want to trade. And now let's just go over this way, because there should be a bunch of gold blocks through here. Now, I'm not gonna use my big mining device because obviously I don't want this gold to fall in lava. How much gold is that? 18 blocks? That's a lot, and it's probably enough. And now here's where we can trap them with a bunch of gold. Yes, now get in there and trade. Yes, okay, cool. We got one trading. Now let's go get the others up there. Okay, we just got two ender pearls. Now we just need to keep trading the ender pearls. Get to work, fellas. I think they're done trading. I'm gonna go ahead and kill them off. There's definitely enough ender pearls in there. I see so many. Oh, yeah, we got 23 ender pearls. That's way more than enough. Okay, well, now that that's done with, we can make our way to the end. Okay, so let's just take these blaze rods. Let's turn them into blaze powder. And then let's go over here to our crafting table and let's combine our ender pearls with our blaze rods to get eyes of ender. Now we're just gonna throw one of these off in our base to see which direction we gotta go. We're going this way. And now all we have to do before we go is make ourselves a bow and enchant it with power too. And now with that in hand, let's get going to the end. Okay, throw it off from this coast. No, it's going back. Okay, so it's somewhere right below us. Let's just dig down and we're gonna get to this thing. There it is. Boom, we're here. Now let's just find ourselves the portal real quick. Oh, we found it, we found it, we found it, we found it, we found it. Eh, I'm just trying to put the last one in. There we go, we got it in. And now get inside, go. Yes, we made it to the end. And now we're just gonna take out the ender dragon and steal its dragon egg, which I think could be pretty easy. The only difference is right now we can't fly as a dirt block, which is a problem, but I think we can still take them all out. Let's just get up here to the top and let's use our bow to take a bunch out. Don't you dare hit me down. No, he used my food source against me. Okay, whatever. Let's grab a bunch of our food back. Now let's rebuild up. Now let's just shoot a bunch of these things. Boom. All of them are dead. Now we just shoot this guy a bunch. Okay, we got him down just above half. Let's keep whacking him. We're going to get him low here. What if I can trap him in a block? Oh, I did. Look, it actually hit. That's hilarious. Okay, he's finally starting to land. Let's just pummel him now with some arrows. Oh, he's low. He's definitely low. 
Yes, we got him. Oh my god, we destroyed him. Now let's just grab a torch. Oh my god, we did this all so fast before the hunters could even show up. Boom, just like that, we have the dragon egg. Now we just gotta make our way to the outer end. But I'm not gonna lie, I do kind of wonder where the hunters are right now. Dang it, we're late, dude. He's already at the stronghold. We gotta get there, bro. And yeah, I don't see a single end city around. So we're gonna do this the old-fashioned way and start building over. So I got to the outer end and realized I can't fly. So I had to navigate the outer end the old-fashioned way. Block by block. Which turned out to be a problem because the farmer showed up before I even found an elytra ship. Oh god, tractor, spender pearl, jump! Okay, we got it, we got it. Oh my god, bro, they have tractors. Nice, I killed the tractor. Oh, I can kill the tractors. Okay, ender pearl away. Nice, we trapped one. No! Okay, let's get our healing roots down. Watch. We can throw one of them 100 blocks in the sky. I put the healing roots on. Now hit me. Boom. 100 blocks in the sky for you. Shot him twice. What oh, was no. that? Oh! oh, I landed it. Okay, he landed it. He landed the bucket. He landed the bucket. Okay, the other one went 100 blocks in the sky now, I think. But I can't move. Oh, they're both done. <gasps> I got one of their items. Oh my god, the aerodynamic hoe. What does this do? Okay, so this is the thing that's exploding. I can right click it and it charges. Then I throw it. It sticks to a wall that explodes. Oh my god, that's crazy. I stole their item, it's mine now. It's fair game, I can use it. Now back to looking for an end city. And so I kept looking for an end city after that battle, and uh, I found one on day 78. Oh, end ship, yes, there we go. Oh my goodness, we got an end ship. Okay, let's just build over here. Here, we're about to start taking shots. Let's go ahead and let's throw our ender pearl there. Now let's jump down, break this. We're inside, grab the elytra. Not that I really need it, but we're gonna grab it anyway. Oh, hey, look at all the diamonds in there too. And a spire armor trim. I don't think I've seen that one before. Or if I do, it's just not super common. Ooh, protection for diamond chest plate. Don't mind if I do. And I don't really need the rest of it. So now let's build back up. And let's just grab this dragon head up front. Now let's break that bad boy. And just like that, we have two quests complete. We have the dragon head and the dragon egg. And now if we get an ominous banner, we'll become the mud monarch. But first things first, let's go down here and gather the last thing we need in the end, which is a bunch of chorus fruit. Uh, which we get from breaking these trees. Grab all the chorus fruit. We should definitely have enough. We do. Meaning we're done in the end and we can finally head on home. Okay, so great news. We're officially done in the end. And there's only a few things left to get. So the first thing we have to get is called a rib armor trim armor smithing temp plate. It's this. It's this little red and blue thing up here. Now, the only place to get that is another fortress, so uh, we'll worry about that in a sec. Besides that, we also need to get a nether star, subspace bubble advancement, kill an elder guardian, destroy 500 blocks with combustion, and then get one ominous banner. Now, here's the thing. If we become the mud monarch, we gain the ability to fly, and all I need to do that is get the ominous banner, and flight sounds really OP at this point in time, so I'm gonna work to get that first thing. So we make our way back to spawn. There's a pillager tower there already, so let's just head there and loot that thing. Pillagers, where are you? Okay, there's two. Oh, there's a banner. Give me the banner. Yes, let's pick that thing up. Booyah, we got it. Meaning now we can become the mud monarch. Oh, I'm like a mud golem. And now I can fly as a mud golem. I also have 50 total arts of HP. And now I have reach eight. So the first thing I'm definitely gonna do is remove the water that leads to my base. Since now I don't need a way up, I can just fly up to my base. I also don't fit, so uh, we gotta expand it a little bit. Wait a minute. Is this breaking more blocks as I get bigger? It is. It's breaking a much bigger region. And now look, I have a big entrance into the base that I can fly in and out of. But anyway, we already got the ominous banner done with. And it's still daytime outside. Let's see what else we can do. It mentions destroying 500 blocks with our combustion ability, which I can definitely do. If we just do that over here real quick, let's just put that right here. That should destroy the world. So I'm just gonna fly back here and watch. Done. Okay, we destroyed 500 blocks with combustion. <laughs> Okay, so I just realized that a bunch of my footage corrupted. So while this gas blasts me with fireballs, let me explain what I did. So the first thing that I did was actually battle an Elder Guardian inside of a monument and kill it because I needed to kill one to get fossilized reinforcements. Then I simply came to the nether where now we're trying to get subspace bubble. But first things first, let's kill these guys. I traveled super far away from our nether portal and now we're just gonna go ahead and build ourselves a new nether portal. And now we're gonna take our flint and steel and light this thing off. And now if we go through, we should get subspace bubble. Let's go, subspace bubble's done, which means now we can unlock the fossilized reinforcements. An ability that does this. You'll see that I get these T-Rexes that come up from the ground and they're gonna start shooting lasers at me and healing me. Now these bony guys right here are exactly how I'm gonna win the video. What they're gonna do is automatically track down the hunters, bite them, and then pull them underground, turning them into fossils just like these guys. And when that happens, the farmer's game is over. They literally can't respawn. Meaning if I do it to all three of them, I technically win the challenge, right? Well, this ability's broken. And there's only one more to go and that's the mud gun. Where there's only two items we need, the rib arm armor trim template and a nether star, both of which can be found in the nether. So even though I just left the nether, we're going right back in. Then to find a rib armor template, we need to look at these nether fortresses and search their chest to see if we can find it. And according to the Minecraft wiki, it only has like a 6% chance of spawning. So this is a super rare item. And the other thing we have to do is kill wither skeletons, but we're gonna do that after we find this template. Actually, well, I can see this one has diamonds and a golden sword. This one has a bunch of nether warts. This one has, oh, it has it. Hold up, hold up, hold up. There we go, boom, rib armor trim, we got it. Now it's just 
get out of here. Now, the last thing we need to get is a nether star. That's literally it. And we're already inside of a nether fortress. So let's just go over here real quick. And now let's just start killing wither skeletons for their skulls. If there were any wither skeletons here, but there's not. <laughs> let's go find a different one and then uh, we'll go kill them there. Okay, and there we go. We got all three wither skeleton skulls. Now let me just grab them back real quick. And now let's just go grab some soul sand down here. And now let's head back to our base and let's take on a wither for its wither star. Go through the portal, head on home, and we can battle this wither. Oh God, what is that? Oh God, what is, ah! What is that? It's making me lag and I can't see. And oh my God, it's so strong. What is that poison gas? It's also like, is it day or nighttime out? It's definitely day. Okay, the sun is over there. Oh my God. Oh God, this is so bad. I can't see anything. Oh, wait, I have an idea. Let's just summon our wither. They all just flew up. That's dumb of them. One, two, three, and four. One just popped their totem already. I popped their totem. Oh, she's done. Oh no. One down. Two down. Okay, let's just take on this wither real quick so we can get his nether star. Got the nether star. Got the nether star. Now we just gotta kill this guy. Now we just gotta kill this guy. Or that can happen. He killed it. Oh my gosh, that was so quick. Oh, wow. My totem pop didn't work at all. Okay. Well, they're dead. That plan was a total failure. And now I can simply go back to my base and unlock our last ability, the mud gun. Our final weapon that does this. Oh, it's turning everything into mud. We can make our base all speckled. Look, I'm an artist. I can paint on my wall. Okay, so now that we have a bunch of mud on the wall with this mud gun and all the other abilities, I don't see any way I die. From here, my goal is simple. It's just time to get revenge on the farmers for what they did at the start of the video. Let's start spawning a bunch of these fossilized guys all around the area. That way, if anyone attacks, again they'll be met with my little friends here now the question is i have three right now if i try to summon more can i oh my god i can they're stackable i can just stack them hold on let's just make it so that way there's no way to leave the base so now we can just spawn a bunch of these dinosaurs in here and if anyone tries to come in they're doomed in fact i'm just gonna wait around this area here and wait for them to attack and just spawn as many of these guys as possible wait a minute what is that <gasps> no they killed bones i just realized that bones is gone there's a grave here that literally says rip bozo and there's his bone that's so mean Wait, what? Okay, you know what? I'm definitely getting revenge. I'm going to destroy them the next time they come to my base. After getting fully upgraded, I simply waited for the farmers to arrive to see if my trap would work. And I'm pretty confident it will work because with all the different abilities I have, I see no way for the farmers to stop me at this point. Hunters, oh, we're poisoned. You got caught in pests swim in water to get rid- Oh, I can get rid of the nausea by swimming in water. Bone guys, what are you doing? You're meant to capture him. He's right there. Get him. They got him. Oh, they're getting pulled underground. They're getting turned into fossils. Look at this. She dropped her sword. She's gonna die. She I didn't mean to do that. Boom. She's gone. She's out. She's banned from the server. No! Turn into a fossil! Look, he's getting dragged out. Oh, this is so funny. They can't do anything. In fact, let's spray him with mud now so he can't see anything either. Oh, he got out. He got out. Let's just kill him. Oh, he popped his totem. Nice. He's dead. He's My totem popped, dude! Okay, one of them is officially banned from the server, and there's still two left. Oh, they're coming from that way. Let's go over here and destroy their beds. Oh, yeah. Right here. Right here. I see torches. Let's nuke this place. Oh, he's done. He's done. He's done. It blew up. It popped his totem. He's going down, though. He's dead. Nice. Okay, let's see if we can bone trap the others. Yes, we got him in there. Nice. Now let's spawn some bone boys on him. Now they should be able to grab him. Get him, boys. Yes, we got one. We got one. Okay, we can get rid of him here. Here we go. They're both getting pulled under. They're both getting pulled under. Oh, dude, I can't see anything. Ban them from the server. We have them trapped underground. Come on, turn them into fossils. One's banned. What? I got fossilized. No. <laughs> get the other one. Yes. Yes. They're gone. They're banned. Meaning I guaranteed win the challenge. It's over. It's done. You're all banned. Oh my God. That was chaos at the end, dude. You can't do anything, anything when you're covered dude, in dirt. Dude, this is crazy. That is dude, insane. We got fossilized. And officially, the dirt block wins, and he gets his revenge on the stupid farmers who took out his friends. Moral of the story, buy my merch at ryguy.shop.